Message to all Africans and Nigerians. Marriage is not always a sign of success and being single is not always a sign of failure. We must learn to, to accept, appreciate, and celebrate ourselves and each other wherever we are, whatever phase we are in our life. Let's learn to appreciate and celebrate each other wherever they are and stop forcing and imposing our viewpoints or tradition and culture on somebody that because they are single, they are failure, and because they are married, they are successful. We all know many Africans are married just for the name's sake and the title's sake that they are married, but they are living in hell. Most of their marriages are un unhappy. They are unsatisfied. They are in pain mentally, emotionally. They are quietly and silently and painfully living in hell. But they walk around with the title that they are married, so therefore other people wants to get married or they make other people look like something is wrong with their lives. Stop this deception and lies. You don't have to lie on Facebook, on social media. We all know what's going on because many of us have been there, done that, and we ain't interested in it anymore. And those of us who have not been there, guess what? We are happy because we see how many of you come crying. Many of the husbands and the wives come crying to us who are not married. So we know what hell you are living in. So I know misery loves company. That's why many of you like to force people to get married or look down upon others who are single as if your marriage is paradise and you know it ain't. Because you are miserable in your marriage, so you love company. That's why you said misery loves company. Mm -mm. If you are happy in your marriage, wonderful, God bless you. And if you are also somebody who is happy and single, wonderful and bless you. Let's learn to celebrate and appreciate each other wherever they are in their lives. And don't look down upon anyone because you, you, are, you are not the one. You don't live in their shoes. You don't live in their life. You don't know what they have to go through to be married to that person or what they have to go through to remain single. Stop imposing your viewpoints, your ideologies, your doctrines, or your teaching, your value system on somebody else. And because it works for you or works for your marriage does not mean it's going to work for everybody else or someone else's marriage. Learn to respect, honor, appreciate, and celebrate yourself and everyone else wherever they are and wherever they find themselves in life. If you can encourage somebody, then encourage them. But stop beating on people's head that you're not married. It's not a sign of success. Maybe in Africa it is, but in the Western world, it's not a sign of success. That's why many young women rush into marriage. Straight out of college, they want to get married. Straight out of high school, they want to get married because what African culture have made it seem that marriage is a trophy or a sign of success. When many of them are miserable, they're unhappy. They are cheating on their spouses left, right, and center. The babies they have in the marriage doesn't even belong to the husband. It's, the marriage is a shamble. It's not a shame. It's not a, 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 a front just to cover up and show up. So stop it. You can't deceive anybody anymore, especially not in this day and age with social media. You can't deceive people with your fake marriages. It's just a piece of paper. It means nothing to you. It means nothing to your spouse. You can't even trust your husband uh, around your, your, your female family or your female friends. Is that a marriage? You can't even trust them with your own mothers. You can't even trust them with your own children, your own daughter. Is that marriage? Come on, man. Who are you deceiving? Stop deceiving yourself. Anybody wants to be tied down in some misery they call marriage of misery in hell. No. But if you're happy in your marriage, bless you. But don't force somebody else and don't look down upon somebody else and don't impose your viewpoint that it must be marriage. Marriage is not a sign of success. Being single is not a sign of failure. I'm Dagnet. I salute you. Thank you. We are in the age of awakening. Wake up from deception and lies, Africans. Thank you.